I assume everybody here knows who Allen Ginsberg was and that he was, for the most part, gay. While he was at Columbia, that was like more than 50 years ago, and then being gay meant you were mentally ill. He went to see uh, someone who counseled him, get a girlfriend. He did. That woman's name is Elise Curran. Little more would be known about her except that uh, not too many years later, she, I think she was still in her 20s, she fell off, um, she fell from a building and died. Now, most of her friends said she was not the suicidal type, so a lot of people just assume it was an accident. She wasn't with anybody when it happened. Um, for a poet, what happened next is probably the worst thing imaginable. A lot of her writing was, at that time, 50 years ago, something that would have been considered scandalous. So what her good friends did was, she had notebooks and notebooks of poetry. They didn't want her family to see them, so they burned them. But they missed one. And evidently, I just found out from somebody else about this, uh, one survived and people are now beginning to look at it and it may be published. I'm going to read one poem by Elise Curran. She did not title the poem, so the given title for this is the first three words of the poem. It's a short one, but it'll give you a taste of the woman. It's called The First Eye. The first eye opens by the sun's warmth to stare at it. The second eye is ripped open by an apothecary and propped with toothpicks, systems, and words and likes to blink in mirrors. I only know there may be more because one hurts when I think too much. The first eye is blind. There is no other. That was Elise Curran. And thank you. And since I do host these beat things, I'm going to have to look at her. Yeah, the next one's a short one of my own. Uh, hello. My lovely, do you know that stolen kisses are the sweetest kind? Come with me and be my love. Together all such treasures we may find. And if giving pleasure pleasures us as much as getting pleasured, why then we shall all love's pleasures prove. As with each touch and soft caress, kiss, embrace, and every other tenderness, we rise and fall together as our muscles tense, imploding and exploding every sense into a shuddering release. And afterwards, in sweet surcease, lying on our backs beside each other, breathing now in deep contented sighs, touching hands, our heads now turning, Looking each into the other's eyes, in unison we'll speak as though rehearsed, our words the same as we two then burst into laughter, each having asked the other, what'd you say your name was? <laughs>